Hi, my name is Jim Rose, and it was my art vision to assemble the greatest collection of odd humans ever to perform on one stage. My odyssey of the bazaar started in Europe 11 years ago, studying contortion and escape. 11 years later, my act has expanded to include stapling money to my face, the human dartboard, the bed of nails with three people standing on top of me, eating razor blades, the human blockhead with uh, spikes and a hammer, putting my face in broken glass, letting members of the audience stomp on the back of my head, and tumbling dry ice in my mouth so quickly that it doesn't stick to my tongue, enabling me to blow smoke rings from nose and mouth. I believe people are tired of things that are slick, contrived, choreographed, manipulated, and clean. It's time for some entertainment that is live, real, raw, and dangerous. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Jim Rose! Hello, Seattle. We've been gone a long time. It's good to be back in our hometown. You're gonna be in a fucking video tonight. So let's get this show started and started right. When I count to three, everybody scream and clap. You, sir, unfold your arms. You're gonna be clapping. You, sir, take your hands out of your pockets. It's gonna hurt when you clap. Come on, hold down. Don't let me down. One, two, fucking three. We're going to start off with some sideshow classics tonight and work our way up to the 20th century. Y you, sir, you look like a jaded fuck. Is that a real screwdriver? Is that a real nail? Don't patronize me. Look at it. The Human Blockhead, brought to the United States in the 1940s by Skeets Hubbard. I'll start off by balancing the screwdriver on my nose. What the fuck you expect when you come to a show like this? We're starting you off easy tonight. The amazing Mr. Lifto is practicing his heated cup routine, but he is most famous for his 11 pierced body parts, and he uses them all to lift incredible amounts of weight. He is a must-see. Let's take a look at some of this man's footage. His act is considered the most popular public display since the outline of hangings. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Mr. Lifto, Lifto, Lifto! A modern primitive of the highest order. Scarification, brandy, piercings, and tattoos. I met this man in a Seattle bar, winning bets with a bizarre weightlifting act. Lift up, lift up, lift up. And now a fashion statement. The next time we come to Seattle, we expect all the men and women to be wearing iron earrings. Lift up. Lift up, lift up, beautiful lift up, lift up, lift up. Iron earrings, you 
Bitte volles Beautiful. I got a fax from the Samsonite gorilla. It seems as though he was concerned about job security ever since he heard about the amazing Mr. Lifto's tongue. Lifto. 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 Lift out. Oh. Oh. Lift out. A heavy gauge chain with hooks on both ends and a concrete block. What's he gonna do? Seattle, the amazing master. Lift up. Get me. Dolly Parton, look, flat! The teats, one of the most sensitive parts of the body. Lift up. Attention, ladies, ladies, attention, do not try this at home! Lifto, give it up for the amazing Mr. Lifto. Eating fire is just one of the many things that the Torture King can do. He is world famous for what he can endure. His specialties include lying on a bed of blades, eating glass light bulbs. He puts a blowtorch out on his tongue, the human pincushion act with over 40 hat pins and meat skewers, electrocution, the yogi gut suck, and walking up a ladder of razor sharp swords barefoot. Let's watch this incredible performer in action. The human pincushion act, done by the people in India as a religious thing. Torture King does it because he likes it. First, a couple of starter pins. I've seen junkies faint! Beautiful Torture King. I am riveted watching you rivet. I can watch you 10,000 times, Torture King, and never tire. You have my undivided attention. And now, through the voice box, so that he can no longer speak. But he doesn't talk much anyway. He is lugubrious. Science! And now, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in the circus has their favorite. Mine is the orbit of the eye, the socket. Ferreting around bone, vein, and artery. You're a genius, Torture King. You're a brilliant artist. Known all over the world as one of the most complete sideshow marvels in history. And now, Seattle, I'm gonna count to three, and I want everybody to chant with me. Beautiful. One, two, three. And so are you. 40 pins festooned about the torso. And now, Seattle, an exhibition, a demonstration on how malleable, how resilient, how elastic the human skin can be. Watch it cling to the skin, meet skewer through the arm. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful torture pin, beautiful. He's your torture king tonight. You can take him home, but bring him back in the... Oh, oh, oh. Jab it, punch it. Give him the full show, torture king. Stop teasing him. 
Beautiful. You're very interesting, Torture King. Very interesting man. You're too good to be true. I can't take my eyes off of you, Torture King. I can watch you 10,000 times and never tire. And now, ladies and gentlemen, now watch them drop like flies. It's time for Meat Skewer Through the Fucking Face! Beautiful torture. Science! Don't try this at home. Go to a neighbor's house and get real good, and then come join our circus. Punch it! Punch it, torture king. Punch it. Yeah. Torture king. Oh, oh, out the mouth, out the mouth. He's teasing you, he's teasing you. You see, the Torture King, he's got a sense of humor too. Oh, Torture King, Torture King, you have found a home. If you ever have a child and something happens to you, lift those slug, mat the tube, and I, Jim Rose, will exhibit and raise that child as though it were our own. Never be sequestered, enveloped, or cornered by strangers without me by your side. They don't understand, Torture King. You were born to do the human pincushion. I will never exploit you, Torture King. Now punch it through your fucking face! I am riveted! I am riveted watching you riveted! Beautiful torture king. You're a genius. Looks like a big fish, doesn't he? Just like a big fish. And now Seattle. The extraction is far more unpredictable than the insertion. Sometimes he goes off like a geyser. Sometimes he goes up like a sprinkler. 80% of the time, blood free. Trickles don't count in the circus of the scars. You're not looking, you're not looking. You don't get your money's worth if you don't look. You're a genius, a brilliant artist. You're normal, Torture King. You found a whole torch. Everybody in the circus, why we just call him Torch? Beautiful. And now he'll remove it from his voice box so that he can speak. Oh, no, he can't. He still got the meat skewer in the fucking face! Ah, ha, 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 one of the more unpredictable extractions, the orbit of the eye. Will he or won't he? I'll get out of the way of the potential trajectory. Beautiful trajectory. You mesmerize me! Beautiful trajectory. Beautiful. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I told you this is a science show. You see the body has accepted the meat skewer. It's now part of the body. Watch the way it clings to the skin when he rips it out of his face. I think you're gonna like it. It's beautiful. Rip it out! Rip it out! Rip it out! Beautiful torture king. Beautiful torture king. You're a genius! You're a genius! Genius! Quit teasing him! Quit teasing him! Give him the full show, Torture King. The full show. Beautiful. Everybody, put your arms up in the air. I'm watching. And bow to the Torture King! He gave you his balls. Give it up for the Torture King! Stop.
Standing behind me is a person that blurs the definition between man and monster. He is completely tattooed from shaven head to toe as a jigsaw puzzle. We call him the Enigma. He is also a sword swallower, an insectivore. He lifts weighted objects with a hook underneath the eyeballs. He's beautiful. Completely illustrated, marked for life, a world-class eccentric. Let's look at some of his footage. The next man I'm about to bring out studied insects not to become an exterminator. He became an entomologist because he was sure there would be a world famine. The Enigma has no problems putting the insects in his mouth. You should have no problems touching them. Feed him! Don't play with your food, Enigma. Don't play with your food. Can't take him anywhere. I am appalled. He's crossing my line now. Enigma, don't eat that one. It's been on the floor. Oh! Cross my line. Cross my line. Ooh, he's hungry tonight, and when you're hungry, you'll eat anything. Maggots! He'll have to chew the maggots up real good. And they can eat their way right back out of the stomach. Chew them up good, Enigma. Chew them up good. Where's the difference between man and monster? What makes a person mark themselves for life? Who knows? Just the enigma. Beautiful. Chew them up good enigma. Crickets! Live to be nine months old. These won't. <laughs> Exoskeleton, one sixteenth of an inch. It's science! Oh, enigma! Don't chew with your mouth open. Wing, antennae, thorax, abdomen, quivering upon the tongue. A few of them escaped a chomp and left the jaws of the enigma. They go down in cricket history. The Guinness Book of World Records outlawed sword swallowing as a competition in 1987 due to two deaths. The sword is one inch longer. It doesn't retract. It doesn't telescope. I didn't say it was sharp. Said he's shoving it down his throat. It's the type of person that goes to the movie E.T. and screams, It's just a rubber doll! This is the world record. The Enigma. Marked for life. The Enigma. As you know, I've been all over the world collecting the oddest humans I could find. This next man was a pharmacist in Montana. He just said no to selling drugs so that he could surprise the world with his special talents. Matt the Tube Crowley will super glue a bowling ball to his hand. He is also known for snorting condoms through the nose and pulling them out of his mouth. Then he reverses the process. He lifts BB the Circus Queen into the air by biting on a chain wrapped around her. His hand challenges have never been duplicated. He smashes fingers with metal sticks. He puts his hand in a raccoon trap and lets a firecracker blow up in his hand. He also straps 50 firecrackers to his chest. He blows up a hot water bag until it explodes. Also, with a cigarette in his mouth, he'll put his face in a shower of sparks for a light. His crowning moment is the tube act called Gavage. Hold on to your seats. Let's look at some of this guy's live footage. I gotta tell you that earlier today, Jim Rose took me backstage and said, Matt, 
I like what you're doing out there, but some of your stunts are just becoming too dangerous. He wanted me to be safe. He said, Matt, every time you do the act, you should wear a condom. That's right, Seattle, in the 1990s, the responsible thing for the Jim Rose Circus Sideshow is to show the proper use of a condom. Jim, there's a little bit of lubrication on this, but uh, not quite enough. I'm gonna have to lubricate it. All right. He's got a special way of lubricating it. He snorts it into his nose and pulls it out of his mouth. Well, I can see that that's pretty well lubricated, but not quite enough for my taste. An inverted lubrication, a reversal of the process, if you will. Back onto the finger, into the mouth. Watch out front row for nose debris. It's called Dickhead, using his nose. Dickhead! And now, ladies and gentlemen, Gavage. This is how you force feed hunger strikers. Matt, the tube Crowley, will force seven feet of tubing into his stomach via the nose. If you feel an acidic burn on the bottom of your tongue and you think you gotta hurl, make it out into the wide open spaces because one whiff could cause a chain reaction. It's worse than a yawn. Two, two, two. All right, Seattle, it's Miller time! This man loves to get drunk, but he hates the taste of beer. It's also known as the Frat Boy Challenge. Hey, frats, come hang out with the freaks a little bit. Chris Cornell of Soundgarden was the first guy to have the balls to drink this. Eddie Vedder of Pearl Jam was next. Al Jorgensen from Ministry. Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Mickey from Lush. Catch him! Uh oh, he's looking queasy. It must be a Maylox moment.
told you this is a science show. So here's the question. Miller beer, taste great or less filling? The scientist in me has got to fucking know. Come on up. Bile beer, it's that after aftertaste you gotta worry about. At first, it tastes like shit after you wish it was. There you go, the freaks that drink together, why they stay together. All right, here we go. One, two, three, bile beer cheer. Give Matt the Duke Crowley and your local guys up again. As you know, our show has no born freaks. So with the assistance of BB the Circus Queen and a vacuum cleaner, Lifto and I will demonstrate what freeze-dried Siamese twins must look like. Hey, Jim Rose, what is it you do for a living? I put my face in broken glass and let a member of the audience step on the back of my head. Well, you're waving. What kind of boots you got on? Duh. All right, I'll take it. What the hell? How you doing, little sister? This is your part of the show. So put them in there and beat them as you see fit. Verify it's real glass. I like small pieces. <laughs> Would you do whatever? Thank you very much, I guess. Skin toughening, ladies and gentlemen. Learned it in the Republic of Yemen. I gotta get my mind right, boss. I gotta become one with the glass. I must meditate over it.
Oh, shut up! Oh, oh, somebody put some paper in here. What? Why are you laughing? Paper cuts are the worst. So let's finish the show right. When I count to three, everybody scream, throw your ass in the glass. It's been a love affair so far, so don't let me down. See you at one, two, three. Oh, Seattle, I would be honored. We broke 15 bottles prior to the show. Gentlemen, Jim Rose, the Jim Rose Circus Sideshow. Jim Rose, the Jim Rose Circus Sideshow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she never gets any applause, Phoebe the Circus Queen. My constant on stage companion, I couldn't do the show without him. The Enigma, the Enigma. World famous for what he can endure. The Torture King. My intellectual soulmate and a damn good friend, Matt the Tube Crowley. And the first man I met at the Ali Baba helped me put this circus together. My good friend and partner, the amazing Mr. Lipto, 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 Lipto. Remember, this is Jim Rose saying, may all your days be circus days.